It depends on how big the, the, this is, uh, you know, like if... Doesn't the white inside that cup look bigger than the one you've just drawn? But look. Wow. Optical illusion. Yeah, exactly. That's what you're All right, so now wow. I'm coming down. It starts. Now, if I was working from life, I would still be taking some kind of unit of measurement and, and doing this. This just really helps, in my opinion. Right. Artist, it's experiential. Experiential? Uh, uh, well, uh, you can have students in a studio, have a studio with 14 students. No. <laughs> this would be like totally frowned on. You took our work over there. Oh, you know, where I got a call from. Oh, I really like your piano. You know, yeah. So, I'm my hair and stuff. And just doing your own. Like Manny's hair. <laughs> By the way, uh, <laughs> one of my students, my former yeah. student, did. Yeah. Jason Long? I'm so proud of her. I think it's nothing to do with that, but I'm always thinking. All right, let me, I need to talk to you guys about my thinking here and what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, for this little shape right here, I just look at this and I go, where is, where does it intersect here? How far over does this come here? Uh, if I see this shape, here, looking at how close well it is to that corner. Because if this is right, then everything else is going to be right. And you guys, there, there really isn't anything more important than starting out with your with the correct drawing. It's the most important thing. He's a nice guy. And um, other things well, were just particular. Well, now he was going to go there. He said, They are. They are. So anxious. Well, I've been on this class. Right here. Because if you if your if your drawing isn't correct at this stage, then you're chasing your drawing for the rest of the painting. You're, you're going to have to correct your drawing at some at some point. Oh God, another. Right, I've got to cast shadow here, and I've got my grapes here. I'm just going to like see where they're going to go. I don't have to really draw them in because they're going to come a little bit later. But at this point. Oh, 
But if I get this, I'm not seeing it right underneath that. There we go. Okay, so now I'm ready to start painting. Or color wise, if if I don't put something around this, this value is affected by everything that's that's around it. And color. What's in your little container? It's just a it's a medium like your uh, like your uh, liquid. And that color is. I just got like some red, uh, yellow, and green, just to get a dark. So I'm really not going to pay much attention to this cantaloupe right now because... Alright, I'm going to do a technique that is going to seem really weird. Okay? I'm We're ready. The green, purple, and orange thing because it works, all right? So, I'm gonna make up a purple. My cobalt blue. I have some, I don't paint well. Purple so rose, so just wait till yeah, you already have. Yeah, that's what I have. You have dioxazine purple? They're very soft. I mean, yeah. But I really love this. I mean, this is not a good one, but they're very loopy when they. This, I'm this not going to tint the whole thing. Painting, I want painting, wet paint, some of it tinted. Paint, oh, okay. because, and then see how you I mean, yeah, really okay. Okay. And um, I want to make sure I, that I've, I've got sometimes just a warm green. Basically, so exactly. Warm green. So if you yeah. like yeah. that, yeah. then you might like I just that, ordered yeah. some new knives. Well, I don't know that I know that feels good. This is cad yellow deep with meridians. This is white warm green. Just like hit it. That's what I do. And the other one I want is uh, thalo, I mean uh, cobalt blue. We've used this mixture before. I want to make sure I've got clean white. Yeah, well the cobalt is so strong that but I want to make sure I've got this mixed up real nice. I'm going to need some more white. I don't think so. You don't like my white. Oh, that's right. I don't. Thank you, baby. All right, to this, now not to all of it. Yeah. No. I'm going to add some yellow ochre pale. And what that? This is technically it's like an orange. I just bought some. Orange. I gotta get some. Orange and. She's got it. Not in every brand. Blue are compliments. I have. She has it. I have a, a, another two. Okay. That uh, it's six bucks okay. for Windsor Newton uh, yellow ochre pale. Not bad. All right, look at, see how that's real, that's really warm. It's a beautiful, beautiful gray. But, oops, I want some here. We're like a bunch of stuff. Try to do it on, it's on sale. Okay. So, I, I signed up to all, for all those newsletters from... Utrecht, Jerry's, Blick, everybody, because I want them to tell me when they're having a sale and a lot across. Yeah, because I don't want to contaminate this. All right, now I'm going to put 
I'm just going to make a real quick gray with my green and violet. These are compliments, all right? So I'm going to get a real pretty warm gray out of that. Sorry, what did you add to that? I got green and violet. Make it cooler or warmer. I wanted it to be a little bit cool, right, I mean warm right here. But I'm putting this in because this is touching that right there. And I want to... Okay. Now this is going to sound really weird, right? Daniel says that there's no, um, and this is value relative. And what I mean by that is that you're, you're, you want your values to be the same. So I might need violet that's a little bit lighter. Unless I've got a really, really heavy dark up there. And I can darken or lighten this green by how much yellow I put in, but I wouldn't I wouldn't go too far there. Alright? So this is gonna sound weird. Alright? Okay. You ready? <laughs> Basically what we're doing is we're uh, creating the illusion of gray. Alright, using compliments. But we're gonna let some of that color pop pop through. So yeah, this is it's gonna seem a little a little weird because we're starting with green. Hi Susan. Doing good. Alright, but I'm gonna stop here because this is my shadow area and it's warmer, right? So I've got to stop here. I can't take that all the way across. Which I think you guys see me do that. You see me enough to know that I will do the darks, then, then, uh, and leave that area alone, and then go into the lights, so that I'm establishing that from the get-go. There's some shadow area right here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of green there, and then you can see how much dark, how, how it gets dark down here, right, in between where the cup, uh, the, this. So I'm just going to go ahead and just go across. There's a cast shadow there. And this is all your warm green? This is all my warm green. And this side of the bowl is darker than this side of the bowl. So I've got that. We'll make sure I've got this bottom part. Here we've got a little bit. There. It really doesn't matter which direction you go in. You can start with purple and then do the green or because it's all going to get covered up anyway. It's so all going to get mixed together, yeah. So that's going to be the same value as the green. Right. I mean, you can already see it starting to gray down, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks. But as soon as I put it up here, you're going to see how blue it still is, right? Right, so I'm going to start with that, because I'm going to make this transition now between where it's going to get lighter uh, and it's going to go into the, the, the shadow, okay? So start it. Stop. I'm being very gentle with my brush, okay? I'm, in fact, when I start to go into this transition area, I'm barely tight. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of the blue to that because, see? So again, we're following that rule, you guys. The, the warm, shadow, cool, light. 
All right, let's just test this now. If I test this with a highlight, and my highlight shows, it means that I'm good. <laughs> I want to make sure that this. There's this edge a little bit back there. Okay, so that's why I'm, I'm blending that. I want that to be a soft edge. It helps it go back into space. For the, for the pattern, alizarin. And a little bit of green to, to knock it down. Let's see what that looks like. All right, on the side here, there's uh, a little bit of pattern. To finish it. And I definitely want to make sure that it's darker. Also, do you see how I'm hold, I'm using my arm as a bridge? Gonna look like it's on there if I do. Yeah. 